Kyle, thousands of filmmakers uh, submit their films to Sundance every year, and, and only a couple hundred are accepted. So if, if someone came to you and said, I want to get my film to Sundance, what would you tell them besides you know, great, fill out the paperwork, get the hundred dollar check or whatever ready. Uh, it, it's, if it's, is it finished or they haven't made it yet? Because <laughs> um, I would have advice on I both sides. Oh, okay. I think if it wasn't made yet, what I would say then is, I feel like, and I'm, I'm guessing here, but I do feel like I've gotten to know the Sundance people over the years, and when I look at the films, I do feel like they're, people argue nepotism a lot, you know, they're like, oh, it's movies within the film. I've never personally seen that, you know, I've never seen someone get in just because, in fact, I've seen people not get in that you would think that they should because of what a ne because of those nepotism things. I don't think that Trevor and John run it that way at all. I think they truly program off their gut. And, I mean, every film festival is a business, so there's always that side to it. But, you know, and that's why they have premiere sections and stuff like that. But I think when you look at the competition section, I think they just choose stuff that's that's bold. I think they're looking for something that's you know, has some kind of unique identity to it. That's what I would say to someone. Like, make sure your film has your, don't try to make a movie that you think would fit the Sundance mold, you know? Make a movie that is just of your own. And I think Next has really epitomized that. And why I think it's some of the most important, I mean, more most exciting movies happening there in the Next category, because they're just, they're usually really, really unique identities. And I think that, I mean, I would say that to anyone independent of Sundance, like just make sure your movie reflects yourself. You know, don't try to, even even when it comes down to music or the way it's going to look, like don't don't try to make it look that way because another movie did it. You know, that's always my least favorite question to answer. Someone will be like, well, what, what other movie do you think this movie will be like, you know, before you make it? And I'm like, well, I'm not going to, it's going to be the way I think I'm going to make it. I'll have illustrations to show that, but I'm not going to compare it to it. And I think that's the most important thing. And I think when it comes to submissions, I think you've got to formalize it. You've got to do the sub formal submission process. I, I don't think it, you know, there are thousands of films. I don't think it hurts not to pull strings, but I don't think if you have some kind of, some way just to make sure you're, to get your name mentioned, not to say that you should show up. I, I don't believe in, you know, that kind of thing. I don't think you need to campaign for your film. You know, I think the film will stand its on, on its own and they do watch the movies and everything like that. But to inquire or nudge or ask a friend to put in a good word or whatever, I do that all the time for my friends with other film festivals. I don't think that necessarily guarantees you or gets you in or anything like that, but it doesn't hurt to just, for someone to remember your name and have it be said. I mean, that's advice I would say, totally independent of Sunday, it's just for anything in life, nevertheless. You know, to be bold and be persistent, you know, those things that exist. But I think also the most important thing, I think, to submit to Sundance is to not expect to get in. Um, I, I don't, that's not even, it sounds negative, I just think in a positive way, I put too much on myself. My first, when my first film didn't get in, it was like crushing to me. And, and it shouldn't be, it, it, should, it shouldn't be. No, no festival should determine your worth that much, you know? Um, and I'm glad I had that experience of not getting in, you know? It didn't, I, I've learned to not let any festival be the indicator of the quality of your film, you know? Only you should be the indicator of that, you know? And um, so that's, I think, what I would tell people first and foremost, but, you know, to, I always say don't expect it, but plan on it. You know, if you can shoot your film a little sooner and have enough time to edit it to get it in in time, like try to do it. Try to try to do what you can to have it there and, and be placed in a position where it could be accepted, you know? Um, also trust that they are used to seeing rough cuts. They saw a really rough cut of my film and I was really uncomfortable about it. But they, that's their job, is to see the, see what the film is gonna, going to become. You know, festival programmers see rough versions of films all the time. And my initial, on my first film, I was like, it needs to be totally finished, and it needs to be sound mixed and everything. They need to know, there needs to be no room for what they think. But I realized that it's it's actually okay, like that they're they're really tuned to that, to, to the filmmaker process and the post-production process. And um, make sure you're submitting something you can stand behind. You know, that, that to me feels like, like if you never get a chance to People play their films at festivals sometimes. I mean, like, well, it's still a work in progress. And I was like, no way. I need to like. Granted, of course, you always want to make changes to your film. But I played it, played my film at the Cut at Sundance, which had very little time to finish. I played that there with the assumption I'll never get to touch it again. And financially, I probably won't. But you know, I had to be okay with that. Where other people I know, they're like, well, I'm still thinking about doing this and tweaking this. I'm like, you probably shouldn't be charging people money to see your film then. But that's just that's just my opinion. You know, I mean, everyone runs a different way. But in terms of getting in, that's what I think. It's a plan for it. Put your best foot forward. You know, submit it formally. Try to inquire if you can. If you know someone who knows a programmer, just you know, say, hey, put in a good word for me. I, I would say just to do that, just to create awareness of the project, but having said that, and I've programmed for festivals before, not Sundance, but I, I, really, I watch everything. Every festival program I know, they do watch things. There's always this sort of angst about, well, they, will they really watch it or not? And 
They will, because the, I, I feel like the true festival programmer, you know, when you meet the people who have been doing it their whole lives, what they want, they want, like I said, when I read a script the first time, I want to like, when they put in a movie, I think they always want to love it. They want to discover that movie that like someone made in their backyard in Tennessee that's like unheard of and unparalleled and totally unique and creative. Like that's what their desire is for. And so I think you want, you want to keep that in mind that they're, they're not, I've rarely seen a festival programmer that's a cynic, you know, rarely. Usually they have that optimism of wanting to find something great in the middle of thousands of thousands of movies. And most of those thousands of movies aren't, you know, it's strange. You think, like, God, who made 12,000 movies, you know? And I, think, I think a lot of times they're really rough, you know? Sometimes the movies are really rough and maybe don't aren't unique enough. But, you know, it's, I do think everything does get considered.